Hey, welcome to UK Wildcraft. I'm here on Whistling Sands Beach in North Wales and let's have a little walk around and see what there is to forage here. It's an absolutely stunning beach here. So first thing I see as we're walking is this which is sandwort. A plant that you'll find at the upper part of the beach. This is a good edible. You want it like this before it's flowered. And you see it's got very unique looking leaves. There's not really anything that's grown on the beach that you can mistake this with. Look at the overlapping leaves. Looks quite artistic. <laughs> now this has got a lovely cucumber flavour. Once it's gone into flower, it goes quite bitter, but if you catch it at the right stage, it's a very nice flavour. Just make sure you give this a good wash before you eat it, because it's very gritty. The sand gets trapped between the leaves. You'll find big patches of this on the upper beach. All right, let's move on this way. Here we've got triangle leaved or spear leaved aurac, another good edible. See how it's got the points at the side of the leaf, the lateral points there, and it's got a very dusty coating to the leaf. It looks very much like fat hen and it tastes a bit like it, not quite as good as fat hen in my opinion. All right, what we've got here, we've got sea plantain there. These strands, these small leaves, just um, salty, quite nice. A little bit late in the season for them but they're still a good edible. It's always a good char characteristic here. You've got the flower stems stick out to the side horizontally and then start growing vertically once they've reached the end of the rosette of leaves. So up here we've got a lot of rock samphire all along the top of the cliffs here. Big patch there. All of this here is rock samphire. Member of the carrot family and it has got quite a carroty flavour. You want to get the brightest green shoots that you can, they've got the best flavour. Mmm, lovely. I love rock sand flare. All of those flower stems that are sticking out there as well are good to eat. Right, what we've got over here? So I did see, yeah, got some nice gut weed here. So this is a good edible seaweed. Looks a bit like intestines, but tastes good. It's really good um, deep fried, so it goes nice and crispy. Or dry it, powder it, and use it as a seasoning. So all over the rocks here, got limpets. And I love limpets. They're really underrated, I think. A lot of people don't like them. But I think what they do is they overcook them. What you want to do with limpets is, what I do is make a fire, let the fire go down until it's got coals, and then put them upside down in the fire. 
just until they're cooked enough that the flesh is released from the shell. If you cook them too, too long and they go rubbery, then they're, they're not very nice at all. So what you want to do is just get a rock, just give them one good sharp hit. If they don't come off first time, then leave them because they'll suck it to the wall really hard. You won't get them off without breaking them. So let's give it a go. Just one good hard tap. No, missed that one. <laughs> Give this one a go. Missed again. I was getting them all off first time earlier. <laughs> there we go. So that's the limpet there. So the flesh, this bit here, like the foot is good, and there'll be a black sack at the very top, like inside there, which is the guts, which I generally don't eat. I'll put him back there because I'm not going to be eating them today. Just make sure that you only take a few from each area. Don't go taking loads from one rock. I'll just take like maybe one or two from this rock, move on to the next one. You don't want to deplete them. But they're a good edible. Uh, you can get them all year and they're a really good source of protein. I expect they were a staple for our ancestors because, yeah, easy protein, really easy to pick, easy to find. Pretty much every rocky shore around the UK has limpets. What else have we got down here? I did see a few crabs earlier down here, but they're a bit small, so I left them. So lots more gutweed, and we got see lettuce there it's another good edible that needs a good wash because that's very gritty but I will take that all right it's about hit for down here I am going to collect a load of that rock salmon fry in a bit though for dinner I'll just take a wander up here because there's a bit of grassland so some coastal grassland species that's wild carrot you can tell by the three pronged bracts underneath the flower head I'll eat the leaves of that and the seeds generally don't bother with the root because it's not like cultivated carrots so they're very tough that's yarrow a nice medicinal herb So here's some rock samphire, and these are those flower heads. It's like a nice succulent stem there, so I'll cook that whole thing. Take a few of those. 